Hello, welcome to episode 109 of the Data Pack Tutorial Series. For version 1.21, we're going to be making a basic RPG enchantment idea. We're going to use this to make items which are going to work based on your stats. So, what do I mean? I have in my hand some rogue boots. Uh, they're called rogue boots function. You'll find out why later. And if I put them on, what's going to happen? I'm only using a five second tick check. So it takes a little bit of time. You can change the time, but now I've got speed. So I can whiz around a little bit quicker, but that speed is dependent on my stats. And currently I need to have five dexterity and two strength. So if I, let's say, set my dexterity to four, and then remember it's on a five second tick, when that five second goes around and checks my scores again, oh, I can't use this item. I mean, I can still wear it, but I'm not getting the effect. And the same would happen if my strength was on two, uh, was, was less than two. So I need dexterity of five and a strength of two. Wait for the little tick to kick in. There we go. And now I get the, because my stats are high enough, I am getting the bonus from the item. So you can, I'm only using strength and dexterity. You can have wisdom, magic level, you know, anything you want. And thanks to Gal Sergi for the ideas for this. He sent me a much better version, but I've, what I've done is I've just stripped it down to its bare bones to start with. Uh, we'll try this one, and then later on we'll do some more complicated versions as well. Okay, so I think the first thing to do then is get on and make it now. Right, here we are in VS Code. I've added some folders and files. Let's go through them. Um, inside my namespace, I've added the folder Enchantment. And inside enchantment, we have rogue boots effect JSON and rogue boots function JSON. So we're going to make two different types of enchantment. And I've added the folder RPG effects and RPG items into my namespace function folder. And you can see in, inside RPG effects, we have rogue boots. And inside RPG items, we have two give commands. And we're going to be using the load. Right. I think probably we'll just start with the load actually. So let's go to load. And this is where I'm gonna set up the scoreboards for what stats I want in my RPG. So for my version, I'm just gonna be using, I'm gonna have a strength dummy. Let's just copy that. And I'm gonna have a dexterity. You can have as many as you like. Um, there we go, let's save that. Okay, so we've got the objectives we need to check. Let's get rid of that. Next, I think we'll make the rogue boots effect first. Now they're very similar. There's only one little difference, which you'll see shortly. So let's pop over to Missode. That's not Missode, that's MC Stacker. Let's pop over to Missode. Here we are in a default. In fact, we can just make sure we'll reset to default. Okay, let's uh, start with a name. Rogue boots, and this will be effect supported items let's say uh, armor oh okay minecraft oh, hashtag minecraft foot armor so it's going to go on any foot i'm not going to change the weight or the max level or the min cost or the max cost or the anvil cost because i don't want this to be traded with villagers and i don't want it to be got from an in, um an enchanting table i'm going to give the player um an item with this enchantment on so I do need a slot though. Which one is it going to work? Well, I'm going to say feet because you can only enchant foot armor anyway. And then we're doing boots. Right, well, now we need some effects. So let's go into effects and let's go to tick and add that and add that. Okay, so you can see we've got requirements and we can see we've got effect. I'm going to do the effect first. So the effect is we're going to apply a mob effect and we're just going to apply basically speed and uh, minimum duration i am going to set this to slightly higher than my tick check now i am going to be checking every five seconds you can check less if you want uh, so let's say if i'm checking every five seconds then i probably want the duration on this to last for six seconds so let's do that and a minimum amplifier um, let's say we'll give them amplifier of two so that's how much, how, how effective is the speed going to be? Obviously zero slower, higher, faster. Some things like invisibility, 
you are invisible or not, so min and min max amplifier don't really mean anything. So now, if I have this enchantment, I will get that effect. And I'm going to get it instantly. Let's add some requirements. And I'm going to add a list of requirements, because we're going to have more than one. First thing I'm going to do is the check to make it so it's more, so it's only checking every five seconds. So we're going to do a periodic tick check. And that is a condition in entity properties. The entity will be this. And we're going to add another one in a minute with this little cr cross there. The predicate will be periodic tick. 100 ticks. So now if we look over on the right, every 100 ticks. So that's when we're going to check. And that's when we're going to be applying them. So now any player with this enchantment, every 100 ticks, five seconds, is going to get this applied to them. That's all right. But we need to take into account the stats. We don't want anyone to be able to use it, only if their stats are correct. So we're going to add another requirement. Here we go. Let's add another one. This is going to be entity scores. And in here, entity this. Uh, what score are we going to check? Well, I'm going to check. I'm going to check their strength. Let's add that. And their strength must be a minimum of two. And I'm going to check their dexterity. And their dexterity must be a minimum of five. Okay, so what are we doing now? Over here, we can see every five seconds, we will check. We will check if they have these scores. If they do have the scores, we will apply the effect. Okay, that seems good. Let's copy it. Copy. Take it back with us, not there, and we'll put it into Rogue Boots Effect. Paste it in. Seems all right. Let's do a save. We better be able to give ourselves the item as well, actually. So, Rogue Boots Effect. Let's do a give executor. Um, I, what did I use? I used leather boots, I think, didn't I? Leather boots, let's say Minecraft leather boots. And here we're gonna want Minecraft enchantments, which should be an equals. We open and close curlies. And then we will say levels. We open and close curlies. Oh, I'm remembering. In here, we will have speech marks. Uh, oh, I don't want one of yours. I want one of Minecraft. I want one of mine. So let's do ID. Here we go. Rogue Boots effect. And we have to give it a level. Let's just say one. Cool. And I'll tell you what, we'll remove the enchantment glint override as well. So it doesn't look enchantment. enchanted. Enchantment glint override. Ah, there we go. You've got it for me. Equals false. We'll set it to false. Let's save that. Let's go back. Now, I have added an enchantment. And if we add enchantments, we need to reload the world. Just reload will not do. We actually need to quit out and quit back in. Our errors in currently selected data packs prevented the world from loading. Okay, let's go back and wonder what on earth we got wrong. Let's have a look. Now, it might be that this enchantment is empty. I think that's probably worth testing before we go crazy. So let's just delete that. And let's do a save. And now let's try loading it. Experimental settings, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so it didn't like the fact we had an empty enchantment there. No problem. Do we still have an old item? No, let's do a function and give the effect boots. Okay. Oh, we still got those ones. <laughs> I didn't even see them. Let's put them on. Okay. Working. That's good. Let's check our score. So let's set our dexterity to four. And let's see if this will run out. Uh-oh, it's run out. So scores seem to be working as well. That's nice. Let's set our dexterity back. Now, you'll notice a difference with mine to what was in the intro. I have annoying particles. Nothing we can do about that. And you say, well, in that case, how did you not have them in the intro? That's why we're going to have two different ones. 
So let's go and have a look. We'll look at Rogue Boots Effect. Now, I like this because it's self-contained. There is no other files or anything needed. You put them on, you get the effect if your scores match. But there's nowhere in here that we can say, don't use particles. Why we can't just have a little uh, sort of particles false? That would be really nice. But unfortunately, practicals, particles false, that would be really cool. But unfortunately, that doesn't exist. We cannot do that. Hmm. So let's uh, close that one down and not save the changes. There we go. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to have a different effect. So let's go back over to Miso. And instead of applying a mob effect, let's change this to bobbity bobbity bob run function. Right, now it's got all of these things left here and it's, it's sort of like, well, I don't know what these do in terms of run function. That's fine, because we just, we'll get rid of those. Bye, bye. There we go. Now we're just going to run a function and we'll just put a placeholder in there. There we go, like we normally do. Right, let's take that, copy it. Let's copy that into our new enchantment, which we'll put back now. Rogue Boots function. Now you can see why they've got different names. Rogue Boots effect is applying a mob effect. Rogue Boots function, on the other hand, is running a function. And we better say which function, ID, RPG effects Rogue Boots. Now, inside here, we can type anything we want. Well, let's just do say, hi, there we go, we'll say that. And we'll apply the effect. And if you apply the effect this way, you do have a choice of removing the particles. So we can just do effect, give at S, Minecraft speed uh, for six seconds it was, wasn't it? We had an amplifier of two, hide particles, yes please. Done. Okay, we'll leave that little stupid message in there because we can see how it tests. Now let's do Rogue Boots function. So we'll copy Rogue Boots effect, might as well, and just paste that in there. And we'll just change which enchantment it's using. Okay, we'll save that. Um, and that's it, I think. So let's go back. Now we've added a new enchantment. So we've made changes to enchantments. They're experimental. So we'll have to save and go back. Yeah. Pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Not always. Let's take these ones off. And let's run the function to give ourselves the other ones. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we didn't change the effect name. So it's still called Roadbooks Effect. Because... If we're looking at Roadbooks function, we didn't change the name. So don't worry about the fact that it hasn't changed. In fact, let's change it now anyway. Function, and we'll just save that. So next, next reload, or next open and close of the world, it will be fixed. Let's put them on. Now, every five seconds, it will be saying that stupid message, and it will be giving me the effect. Advantage of this way. We don't have those annoying particles. Still effectively doing exactly the same thing, but we've removed those particles. Okay, so why do I like this version? No particles, pretty self-explanatory really. Um, it's a bit of a shame we need an extra function, to be honest. Come on, Mojang, just put a simple little thing in here. Let us turn the particles off. That's all you need. Is it simple for them? I don't know. Anyway, what we have now is we have a pair of boots that anyone can wear, but they're, oh, that's a silly message. They're only going to be getting the effects if they have high enough stats, which is cool. So I like it very much. I think we've got a few more ideas to do with RPG. Gal Sergi sent me a few more as well. These get more and more complicated. I thought we'd start as simple as possible. Something I do like about this, this system is it ties in nicely with episode 108 where we had scores determine which loot drops. Right? So you can have, um, if you've got a mining stat, as your mining stat goes up as well, maybe you can uh, mine more diamonds. Just ideas. Anyway, that's it for now. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Um, we'll get on and make it more and more complicated in later tutorials. 
Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.